company, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Australia. And whilst I'm not actually doing a process video on how I made today's scrapbook page, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I, or give you some tips and tricks as I show you around it a bit, just using the video because it's easier to chat than it is to type. Okay, so this is my page. I've called it my sunshine. It's from a day when my husband and I went out to a sunflower farm. So there's a few little things that I want to share with you. Okay, you can see that my photo's mounted. It's actually framed. But to make for the let's strip, we use designer series paper. And I've stripped it and I've just, every single one of them has got slightly different edge using the frame lights. All right, on my pieces of designer series paper. And you'll see my sentiment looks quite puffy. There's four layers of letters there that I cut them all out. And then what I did, I actually did cut them out in black, but I also then embossed them with black embossing powder as well, just to make them shiny after I've stuck them all together. Each row of my designer series paper is stitched with the sewing machine. And I've used different stitches. Okay. And because I actually sew it, it's really hard not to be neat, but it looks better if you don't be neat. Okay, make it messy. Now, when you're sewing with a sewing machine on your paper, I will say that uh, you want to save a, a needle specific for, specifically for paper because the needles will be blunt and made blunt by the paper. You won't be able to sew fabric afterwards. So I, I actually have a different sewing machine that I use, but um, you can just keep chopping and changing your needle out. Okay, but it does it okay. You're on my back. I'll just turn it over. Oh, can't see it because I put my <laughs> I put the other piece on. But where the threads end, I've actually pulled them through. I did end up with a couple of little spots over here, but that's all right. You can't see it. Doesn't take away from the page. I've pulled them through, and I've actually put some tape on the back to hold them down. Okay, my sunflowers coloured with our Stampin' Blends. The hearts are from one of our heart confetti punches and stuff like that, because I've got a whole heap of those. So they've got Wink of Stella on them. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, just to make them look pretty. And I've just scattered them around. There's a stamp up there that I've used to make the bigger splatters. And then I've used my pen to flick the other coloured splatters. Okay. And then I've added my photo of myself and my husband on our day out and about. Okay. I hope you like my page this month. Just thought I'd give you that quick little travel around it just so that um, I could show you what I was talking about. Because, yeah, like I said, it's quicker than typing it. Oh, I will say, when you're sewing on your pages, you don't necessarily want to sew over your adhesive. So I have put... Um, a little bit knowing that I wanted to sew over these top the higher bits I put a little bit of adhesive on the pointy bits of these ones and either side um, with my uh, liquid glue so or multi-purpose glue Tombow whatever you like to call it the any other adhesive or adhesive will stick and gum up your needle and it'll actually make it tear the page so you don't want to be sewing over it so just be aware if you're doing that when you're sewing on the pages okay Hope you like it and I'll catch you later on the next one.